Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing a new kit club to me, which is Scrapbooking Coach at Home Kits, which are an Australian based company. And this kit here is absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, with mailing, I didn't receive my kit until just a couple of days ago. So I was only able to create this double page layout with this kit this month. Hopefully next month I'll have some time to work a little bit more with it and create a few more layouts. But today's layout is a double page layout featuring five photos that are approximately 50 years old. The two little girls are my sisters that are older than me and my mom when they lived in Chicago. My grandpa took the photos and he was a photographer and loved to take photos of the grandkids. So I'm just showing you the items that I have to play with, a few papers and stamps and little gems that are hearts and I did stamp out a few pieces here, that's what I'm showing you here, the cameras, I fussy cut the flowers, the 1971 I uh, stamped with the stamps, I fussy cut out the camera paper and I'm going to place that on the right hand side down the side. Um, I already fussy cut out the camera lens and I decided to back it with the opposite side and I took white acrylic paint and painted it with a dry paintbrush and that's what gives you those brush strokes like that. Um, sorry, right here I'm roughing up the edges of the photos. Um, I did take all the photos, crop them down, and matted them on uh, white cardstock. Uh, fortunately, I am actually have all the negatives to these photos. My grandpa was very good at keeping the negatives to his photos, and we received some of them. Of course, not all of them, but we received a lot of his negatives to his pictures that he took of our family. So I do have the negatives to these photos if I ever wanted to reprint them. Um, we also have lots of copies of them. For some reason, he always seemed to have three or four prints of each picture. So here, I already matted all my photos. Um, one of them I mat I double matted. The rest are all just single matted. Uh, then I'm going to add strips to the left and right side. This seems to be my go-to on double page layouts that I'm trying to add a lot of photos to. But I still want to add pattern paper. So I use the stripe paper, the black and white dots are actually little tiny hearts, and then the yellow ledger paper. And I'm going to add that on the side stacked up. So I'm going to add the yellow first, and then I add the heart paper, and then I add the stripe paper. And as you'll see when I'm adding the right hand side, I did add a, the sticker, um, which is that film strip. I'm covering up the pictures. I don't really like adding pictures that aren't people I know. I find it kind of weird. So I did use the strip though that shows that it looks like a negative. I thought that made a cool border. So I did add that to the right and left side. And as you can see there's little chunks missing out of my background. That's where I fussy cut the flowers. So I'm going to add the lens on top. You won't see those missing pieces once the lens is added on top because then the center piece will go in also. I was trying to add the lens uh, enough that it would cover up most of the words just because I didn't want it really to say a lot of just random words even though you can still see them on it but it kind of goes with the layout after all. Uh, I did double mat the picture of my mom and my little or my older sister, not my little sister. Um, she's sitting on the floor and it was probably one of the first times or the couple first times that she was sitting by herself because she's approximately about five, six months old in these pictures. So old enough to be sitting up, but probably just learning. Um, and you can see the joy in my mom's face as she's watching her sit up. I really like these pictures. These are pictures that I would have taken my own self. So I kind of think that that's probably where I get my photography talent from, is from my grandpa. 
and then you can see my sis my older sister the oldest one is laying on the floor being a typical three-year-old trying to get in on the baby's photos so she's just playing around you can see she's just laying there and then she's smiling and then laying there again and he's probably trying to get the baby to smile at him and she does eventually smile and they are kind of blurry not really sure why that is the focus is on the older sister not the baby but that's just the way he took photos sometimes and here I'm stamping out uh, photos are the and it says grandpa's in the gold letters and then I'm gonna put best below that so grandpa's photos are the best because they really are a lot of his photos still have a lot of the best color in them they're not that faded red color that a lot of the 1970s and 80s photos are so I really like and enjoy seeing his photos I wish we had more I know there's more photos somewhere in the family but unfortunately we don't have them and it's kind of a shame I really wish we did but the ones that we do have I'm gonna enjoy and I do add sequins um, on this layout, which you'll see in the close-ups. Unfortunately, again, my camera cut out. But as you can see, there's little sequins, and I did add some of the gem hearts at the end. I'm really enjoying working with these kits, and hopefully this next coming month in February, I will have another couple of videos featuring this kit club. Again, it's Scrapbooking Coach at home from Australia. Thank you. Bye.